ditched it, Knight! We need a pickup. <laughs> Hang on. Grab the light. Oh, she got that arrow unlocked, hey? So, this is the top team. The rogue clones on the run from the Empire, huh? Hello. How juicy. The Empire's growing stronger. We should be doing more. You want to really what free? The... Pull off this heist and you can have a future. Bro, was that the Zillow Beast? Rumors are more and more clones have been questioning the order. Then they are traitors. Oh, like sick! Okay, cool. You all gave up everything because of me. We made the right choice, Omega. But there are others out there who need our help. What sort of treachery is this? Stay back! Gungi. Oh, sick, okay. seeks to establish peace and order throughout the galaxy. Peace? Peace was never an option. Can't wait to see him back in the yes, Senate. Soldiers. We do what needs to be done. Move. You know what makes us different? We make our own choices. What do you need, Rex? Any chance I could use you for a mission? We're gonna team up with Ahsoka now. Main thing I take away from that is the fact that they're having more clones disobeying the order and feeling a little bit disillusioned with it. I think that's going to be something that's probably the most interesting to go into this second season. I can't wait to watch it, first of all, because it feels like old school Star Wars feels like, you know, Clone Wars style. And I love that style of animation. Takes you right back. And I love the fact that we get to see Palpatine in the Senate. That's something I wanted to see in Andor, or at least a little more of the Senate. I find the older I get, I have more of a fascination with the politics of Star Wars. Because it kind of like explains why everything is happening the way it is. And how Palpatine really orchestrated all of the political issues that stemmed in the galaxy. And how he controlled both sides of it so magnificently and uh, very treacherously. So I'm excited to see the show. Mainly, I want to know what happens with Cody. And of course, now that we're going into uh, teaming up with Rex, you know, where is Ahsoka at? Is she with him? Are we going to see a little bit more of her? And what's Omega's deal? Omega, is she going to find Boba Fett? Are they going to learn of each other? Is Boba Fett going to learn? Does Boba Fett even know about her? Um, obviously, Fennec Shan knows of her now. So from the first season. So I'm wondering what will happen? Will we develop more of their story and their relationship? And then in Boba Fett season two or wherever we see Boba Fett again in live action, could we see Omega with him? Is she going to join his team? Is she going to be against him? These are all questions I have and I hope they're going to be answered. But mainly how the clones are disobeying a lot of Order 66 or feeling like it's maybe not the best choice. And I want to know why some of them are having a hard time with it while others are fully believing that this is the way to do things and we got to follow the orders while some are fully, you know, brainwashed like Jesse was. And then, you know, of course, Rex had his taken out, but even he was uh, struggling against it um, a little better than the rest. So I, I want to know, like, why is there this discrepancy there? So, hey, that'll be cool. Hunter, of course, you know, I, I don't think he has it in him anymore. I don't think he even is needing to follow Order 66. I think he's just doing it because he hates his brothers or he's hurt or something like that, you know? Um, the the one rogue family member. So anyways, excited to see what happens with Cody, with Rex, Ahsoka, and of course the journey of the Bad Batch and Omega. Let me know what you guys think. Hope to see you guys in the watch parties coming soon in just under a month now. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. And then of course we get Mando Season 3 and Fallen Order or Jedi Survivor, which I'm the most excited for. So anyways, love you guys. Have a great day. May the Force be with you.